and hello and welcome back to OPTV Live. My name is Steve and you're watching Mech Mania Monday. We are in the semifinals bracket C. We've got Uncharted versus MV Patel 2000. The winner of this match will move on to the finals to play the winner of bracket D. The loser will move on to the third place match to still determine who it is that's going to walk away with 1,000 diamonds or 600 diamonds or 300 diamonds. Uh, or who just walks away with, well, 50 diamonds. But We've got Uncharted. He is going to be in the left-hand side. We are on Crater. Great fun map. Uh, lots and lots. For those of you unfamiliar with Crater, this is what makes it really fun. Right straight down the middle is just a gauntlet. This is just the roadway to destruction that you've got to break through to get over to your opponent's side. So really makes it that you just can't instantly get to where you're going right away. Uncharted is going to go ahead. He is playing as a Samsung pilot. He is in his Osprey and is working on neutralizing that third outpost to possibly avoid some early cheese. Patel over here on the other side in his Lexi Striker doing the exact same thing of trying to neutralize this outpost. So uh, each one of them concerned about the same thing. They both intelligently take out that front facing um, brute so that way their units will take less damage. Uncharted uses that ratchet as for additional healing. Meanwhile, Patel's Gemini over here is taking some damage, but most likely will take out that brute before it's destroyed. Patel going ahead, deploying out his money makers. Uncharted doing a quick little scout. It's got to be careful as he flies through that no-fly zone in the middle with all those neutrals doing damage. Hitting down his money makers. They are both making sure that their economies are going to be set and ready to go. Uncharted maintains control of that outpost. Is now moving in. Loses his tank to... Uh, to that Longhorn, but go ahead and supports his other Gemini to make sure at least that one doesn't get destroyed. We've got right now, both players are now moving in, Uncharted trying to take that extra experience from those Longhorns, however Patel skipping to get that extra experience boost is actually making the first push in on that central outpost. At the same time, he's hoping enough that Uncharted is not going to see him. No! Look at it, guys. On the radar. That green tank that Patel put down there is right outside the radar range of Uncharted. He's not going to see it unless he flies down there. Patel, perfect, perfect staging spot. Definitely, is, this is someone that has played and has studied and knows exactly what typical map awareness is and what someone's going to see. And there we go. Oh, Uncharted flew in where he may have seen it for a brief second, but possibly not paying attention. There we go. He now sees it. He realizes, hey, what's going on down here? Go ahead, gets down there, brings some uh, Geminis of his own, uses that healing ability of that Osprey to make sure that he's not going to lose any units. And unfortunately, that staging area for Patel is not going to hold up. However, Patel uses these flamers and moves in on this power station instead. Two of the... Two of the soldiers down, three are down. The fourth does go down and the post is neutralized. One, two, three, four, Patel does get control of this outpost and we've got flamers going off all over the place. Uncharted in a very dangerous situation right now. If he cannot get control of this power station, this is gonna provide Patel with a beautiful, beautiful spot. Uh, to begin initial assault, but Uncharted does do it. The outpost does go neutral. Patel trying to fly out of there. Gemini in his cargo hold, cannot get out of there in time. <coughs> Goes down with that Gemini in his cargo hold, and it gives Uncharted all the time that he needs to go ahead and re-secure this outpost, destroy all these tanks, which cost Patel a lot of money, gain the extra experience, and re-secure everything. But Patel realizing, okay, right now this may not be my best chance to move in on here. What does he do? He moves in on that middle outpost. Since the fact that both of their units were actually going against that outpost. Um, they were able to completely wipe out all the neutrals, and now Patel's got Uncharted pinned down on the ground, but Uncharted goes to right where he had a seeker for a defense, and Patel realizes that he's not going to be able to get through and has to pull back. Uncharted, though, realizing that he has lost some grounds on here, rather than keeping those tanks there, which would just be destroyed and wasted, he does start pulling back, but Uncharted has to come up with a whole new strategy right now to try to move forward. Because Patel has bigger map control, and he's in a little bit better position than Uncharted right now. Uncharted using the ability of that Osprey to move around units very fast, heal quickly. Osprey is, if you, for those players that know how to use an Osprey well, can be a great, great unit to use. 
uh, a great, great mech to use, but you really gotta be sure that you know how to handle it correctly. Uncharted 4, his base defense, he had a moneymaker as one of the items that his team pulled it out first. You realize that they just got to, but oh no, these flamers once again have neutralized out this post. But at least Uncharted was able to destroy enough of them that Patel does not actually gain that outpost for himself. And Uncharted uses the flamers of himself, taking on that tank. Oh man, things just blowing up and dying everywhere. We've got a push coming in. Patel pushes in. He's got four Gemini. Uncharted has his tanks of his own, deploying them around, using these Gemini's. Really right now, Geminis are very, very popular in this uh, particular meta because uh, we've been seeing Geminis all night long. Geminis, Flamer, Seekers. So it's really coming down when we see a lot of similar uh, mech points, a lot of similar unit points. It's the choices that the players make for the mechs themselves and how well they can actually handle them. Uh, Patel right now has Uncharted on the run. Definitely this is one of those situations that if you're playing you say that this is not where you want to be. You never want to be on the receiving end trying to just respond to where it is. You want to be the one dictating. You want to be like Patel right now. Dictating where the action is. Controlling where the action is. Keeping control over everything really gives you a major, major advantage. Uncharted trying to move these busters around. Busters very expensive, but very, very fragile. They hit hard, but if you're not there to keep them alive, it can cost you a lot and can cost you the game. And right now we're kind of seeing that. Hell's Geminis are definitely outplaying those busters. Even those busters get far more damage. Uh, those Geminis just survive for a lot longer. We did get a little bit of a lag back there for Patel. It looks like it's over, but at the same time, that's a little bit concerning because it looks like we've caught up real time to these players, so hopefully we don't get any more lag spikes. Patel coming in using those snowball tracers. Definitely what you want to see in the, in the, what, where are we on the, on actually today, for those of you that do not know, it is May 5th, or otherwise known as Cinco de Mayo. Uh, so happy uh, Cinco de Mayo to all of you that do um, celebrate it. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the day, uh, partying, celebrating, having a few drinks, and uh, just having a really, really great time. Uh, just remember, as all the alcohol commercials say all the time, drink responsibly. And don't drink and drive. And that was your friendly public service announcement. Now back to Air Mech. In Air Mech, we have Patel still in control of that middle outpost. Uncharted knows that he's got to try to do something. He knows he wants that outpost back. He knows that attack is coming in soon, but at least one thing that is smart that he's doing, rather than keeping his base completely undefended, is that he's building some defense, and then using that defense to also try to move it at the same time. Using that heal ability of the Osprey, but Patel, with that striker, massive amounts of damage coming in from those snowball tracers. Keep in mind, of course, guys, that the traces are purely cosmetic. There is nothing in Air Mech that is a pay to win. This is a completely a pay for cosmetic only type game. So, oh, Uncharted, great dance there. Goes down, goes back up, stays alive. This is not one of those times right now where you want to be dead. You know you've got to be alive. Your opponent is right there knocking on your front door. You do not want to be in a position where you are down and dead and unable to respond, giving your opponent all the time that he needs to do basically whatever he wants. Um, <laughs> interestingly enough, somehow I did not see how, but Patel did lose control of that middle outpost. Um, not really overly critical to him at this point because uh, he's got this front door, he's got all this pressure on, he's got the financial advantage, I mean, he's got more units out of. He's got more units up in the front area than Uncharted does, and he's got practically a 2 to 1 cash advantage. Uncharted, unfortunately, has a major, major investment in these busters. Uh, it's just so hard to keep them alive. The great thing that Uncharted is doing is pulling out those artillery cannons, putting them in play, letting them do the damage. He is starting to gain some ground, but Patel realizing that the artillery was doing some damage, he pulls out the jammer truck, guys. That's this right here. It throws off all the artillery fire. As you saw right here, the artillery is landing up over here rather than down here where the units are. That artillery was an actual hit. There was two hits, one right there, but one hits nowhere. Those jammers are very effective. If you've never actually just been able to sit there and watch and see how the artillery shells land, and you've got a jammer on the field, well, guys, you're seeing it right now. Those shells 
they'll miss just as often as they'll hit. So it makes it really, really hard, and we've got a little bit more of a lag spike going here. Numbers getting back under control. Patel pulls something back. There we go. We see everything lighting up green. Which way is Patel going? Is he going outpost or is he going to fort attack? I'm going to guess fort attack, especially look at what he's got here. He brings in that artillery cannon. The only mistake that he made was he shot so much it gave Uncharted a chance to actually see that he was there. Uncharted quickly responds, gets a Gemini down, quickly destroys that artillery, and... Patel's forces now split in half. Some of them up here being completely destroyed by Uncharted's forces up here. The other half down here again being destroyed by Uncharted's forces. This is the moment. This is what Uncharted was waiting for. Patel did not push in on the base. He split up his forces 50-50 towards the up and lower outpost. And in the process maybe completely gave up this outpost. Potentially even gave it up this entire game. This completely changes everything folks. This is the opportunity that Uncharted was waiting for. Hopefully he's able to capitalize on it and do what he needs to do. He gets control of this outpost. He's now got control of those three pushes back. Patel's got some Geminis coming in from a long distance. But they are now going to be on almost on Uncharted's radar. Does he see them yet? He does not see them yet. Patel brings in a Gemini up the top to distract Uncharted. Uncharted on his rain radar. Now does... Wait, he saw those green dots for a moment. He doesn't see them anymore. Is he going to realize it in time before these Geminis make it down to this bottom outpost and possibly neutralize it? Keep in mind that this is not just an outpost but a factory. Factories, for those of you that don't know, reduce your build time by 20%. So rather than something taking, you know, uh, five seconds to build, it only takes like four seconds to build. It may not sound like much, but in a really intense game with lots and lots of units being built, it can make a tremendous difference of whether or not, say, you can replace five units in 20 seconds or 25 seconds. That extra five seconds can be the entire time it needs for your opponent to move in on you. Patel successful in getting this outpost into his color. Most likely not going to keep it in his color unless he starts doing infantry drops. Does not do those infantry drops in time. Uncharted realizing now that Patel's got no place to heal. Trying to use those tanks to take those units back. Unfortunately, in the process, Uncharted did not see, but this outpost also went neutral. Uncharted in a very, very difficult situation. Hell is just all over the place, dictating all the actions. And let's take a quick look, guys. See what we have as far as upgrades go. Patel is fully upgraded on the sword, fully upgraded on the armor. He's got those missiles. Uncharted here, on the other hand, he's not on full level 3 field, not on level 3 armor. He's got level 3 carry. And then he's got that new other extra passive heal ability. Uncharted though is in very, very bad shape. Trying to go up, trying to go down. Does he stay alive? He stays alive. Patel out of energy, but Uncharted cannot give the chase. Oh, if Uncharted would have given the chase, maybe he would have actually destroyed Patel and that would have given him more time he needs to move in on that middle outpost. But just did not see it in time. He needed to heal up himself. Gets control of the three outposts, and we are basically back to the starting point here, guys. We are now 10 minutes, 30 seconds into the game. We've got an outpost count of 4 to 3, unit cap of 62 to 69. So Uncharted taking this Samsung pilot, getting that additional 8% unit upkeep is paying off for him because he is pretty much able to keep up with the unit count. Up Patel, and this is it, guys. Uncharted is now making a move. Patel has not noticed it yet. Uncharted moves in at this outpost, drops down Patel now here to respond. Pulls off that uh, moneymaker in time, doesn't neutralize his outpost. Even if Uncharted neutralizes his outpost, he's got no troops, but oh, Striker so much faster than the Osprey. The Osprey cannot get out of there in time. Uncharted goes down, he actually buys back, realizing that he cannot stay on the sidelines. He spends a tremendous amount of money to actually buy himself back into the game. Granted, he had the money to spend, but still, it hits you for a lot of money, guys. Right now, four to one on the cash between Uncharted and Patel. Uh, so definitely Patel spending a lot more and Uncharted uh, being much more uh, conscious with the way that he's spending. Even so, very interestingly, even with the price difference there, uh, Uncharted actually does have a larger unit upkeep out on the field, 51 to 38. I do believe that a lot of the, uh, Patel's money has gone into these upgrades. As we can see, Patel is basically upgraded across the board on everything as far as he can go. Only thing he can't quite go to yet is level 3 on those missiles. And once he can, level 3 of those uh, striker missiles, 
plus just the speed and the damage ability is going to give uh, uh, Uncharted a very, very hard time to stay alive. Uh, because the town will be very easy to chase him down, hit in those afterburners, shoot him, launch off those missiles. Really, really hard for uh, for him to stay alive uh, in that particular situation. But we still have it back. Still have the elbow counts of 4 to 3. So these guys both Uncharted. Oh, there it is. Patel's moving in with another push. Uncharted. No! Uncharted goes down. This gives Patel a chance that he needs. Can he actually take advantage and do enough damage and destroy enough units to actually give him the advantage that he needs? Pulling out that power sword, supporting his unit, his uncharted tank, not knowing where to shoot. All that damage going in, that uh, that Gemini goes down so quickly. Uncharted now back in the fence, looks for unit cap. For a moment we were at 47 to 43. Uh, so that really does did set Uncharted back for a brief moment, but Uncharted rebuilt fast. Why is he able to rebuild fast? Because he's got the money to do it. That is the one good situation that Uncharted is in right now, is that he is handling his money very well, especially considering the fact that he is at um, a little bit less of a, an outpost count. Although the middle outpost has no ability for money maker, so never mind, because he was they still have the ability on it. Let's see. What do we got? Seven money makers to six money makers. So it is very, very similar between the two. We've got this base push. A little bit of damage going on the base, hurting a little bit, but definitely the no. Ugh. And Patel unfortunately disconnects from the game, and we were 13 minutes and 20 seconds into the game. Very, very far into it. So for this guy's. In all seriousness, I'm going to throw out to you guys right now to throw your vote. Typically, I would say that unfortunately that's too far in to, uh, to remake. However, um, you guys may actually want to still see this. Um, whoa, RUI is here. There we go. Hey, dude, how's it going? Um, I don't think that was a rage quit, not with the push that was going in and not with the way they were playing. Um, I'm going to believe that that was a disconnect. Uh, so let's throw it out to you guys. What do you want? Remake or Uncharted wins? You make the call. All right. Two, two. Three to three, four, four. Oh, uh, guys, you're not making this any five. The five, wait, no, Gam, you can't vote twice. So that's four. Uh, come on, guys, you're not giving me any clear indication here. I was really hoping to see all you guys say one thing or the other. Because if we're going to be even, then at that point, I'm going to have to actually call it in favor of Uncharted. Because typically, the way normally tournaments go is if you disconnect for four or five minutes, hey, you know, we'll go ahead and remake. But if it's been in for a while or something, then normally it goes to the person. So, uh, I'm seeing a lot of calls out for Uncharted here. All right. It looks like, guys, that we have, first, we have more votes for Uncharted over the remake, and then second, with the way that everything goes, um, I think I'm going to have to go ahead. I know I'm not going to, I'm sure some people are going to be upset at me, but hey, you know, no matter which way I go, someone's going to be upset at me, but uh, I'm going to make the call on here. We're going to say uh, Uncharted does move on. Patel, I am sorry, bro. I really didn't want to see how that match was going to turn out, but uh, unfortunately, it was too far in. Um, all I can say is, uh, Patel, post on the Carbon Forums, talk about your disconnect, and hopefully they can find the bug and uh, fix it for the next patch. I'll say that, because uh, definitely, you know for a fact that Carbon is going to be very, very concerned about disconnect bugs with their launch of Air Mech Arena on Xbox. Uh, that's, they need to get those out of there to, in order to really make it that that launch is going to be successful. So uh, let's let them finish up here. Let's let it wrap up. Let's get our official winner here. There we go. Three, two, one. 
there's our official win here. Uncharted moves on to the finals. Patel does drop down into our third place match. So that was game C of Mech Mania Monday. Hosted by Steve, brought to you by OPTV Live. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned as uh, Game D is coming up next.